This is going over on the ship right after the basic warning. Well, you see, they took it, didn't they? They wrote it on the boat, warning carpenters on board. In Korea, guns covered up. And little bunkers in the background. Next to the, I think that building was a mess hall or a mess hut or whatever you want to call it. And there he had shoes on. Had hair. Pepsi didn't smile. <laughs> Buddy of mine from Illinois. Francis E. Craig. Right after basic. Right before I went to Korea. Down in Flanders Field. Before Fort Armour Drive was in, by the way. And these two skinny kids were. Well, both of them real skinny. He's got hair. God, I don't know who they are. Oh, that's hell on I? She ain't gonna believe. <clears throat> on the right, on the right of me, on the right there, <clears throat> is Leroy Taylor. Myself standing next to him, that's about in front of mom's house. And I don't know who the kid was on the bicycle. Boy, that's been a while. <laughs> Here I am, holding the camera out the window, taking a picture of myself and Harold Miller and his 1929 Durant. What a wagon. 1950 snow up in my mom's house. You see the snow on the cars across the street? It's up to the hubcaps. It finished uh, getting 28 inches of snow that year. They were in that snow, 1950. <laughs> As you can see, the inseparable Harold Schnauz Miller on the right and <laughs> Toothpick Carl on the left. Flanders Field. I am out behind uh, the house on Harmer Street before it had a back porch at all. We talk about Slim, look at it. Good Lord, see this or not. That's Carl and Karen in the background on the right. And Chip, and Diane Caseman, Tommy Gray, and Janice Caseman. Many years ago, there's a picture of my daddy and myself. Christopher. Hi, Chrissy.